Hi, my name is Miss Valerie and I'm a children's librarian with the San Antonio Public Library System. Animal Crossing has some really beautiful flowers and I want to show you how to bring those off of your island and into real life by making them out of paper. All you'll need is some colorful paper, a pair of scissors, some tape or some glue, and a pen or a pencil. So let's get started. We've got our chrysanthemums and our hyacinths. They're both made using a very similar technique so we'll just go over both of them at the same time. First thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and make the stems because the stems for both of them are exactly the same. So I've got a regular sized sheet of paper and I'm going to cut that in half down the middle, hot dog style, or not hot dog style, hamburger style, sorry. And then if you have a pen or a pencil, that'll make this part easier because we are going to roll one corner up to the other. and then just tape or glue that end in place. And we'll repeat it for our other flower. And then I like to just cut the points off so it's a nice straight tube for our stems. And then we've got our stems. So to make the petals, we'll start with the chrysanthemum first. We'll take another sheet of paper, and this time we are going to cut it down the middle hot dog style, so lengthways. And then fold each half in half again. So to make chrysanthemum petals, we are going to take our scissors and we wanna make diagonal cuts all the way across our paper. Make sure that you are cutting from the fold to the unfolded part. So I'm going to cut off the complete edge of the paper so it is a nice slant, but every cut I make after this is not going to go all the way to the end. It is going to leave a little bit of space that way it doesn't fall off. The petals stay connected at the bottom. And you wanna make these nice and tiny, tiny petals. Try to get as close together as possible without cutting a petal off. And you'll do this for both sheets of petal paper. Okay, so once you have cut through both halves of your paper, you're going to want to unfold it and fold it over the opposite direction. And kind of flatten the, the petals a little bit. And then glue or tape the edge closed so that it doesn't open. Okay, so to put the petals on our stem, we're going to just choose one of our halves and starting from one end, just wrap it around. And I will actually tape down the beginning just because my fingers move around a lot when I start wrapping and I don't want to lose the petals. So I'll tape that down and just wrap it all the way around and keep going. If you're using glue instead of tape, I would recommend that every couple of turns you add another dab of glue. And then if you're doing tape, you can just wait until you get to the end of the paper and tape that down. So we're starting to see the bulb of the chrysanthemum, the petals coming out from the center. And we flattened down the, the folds, but when you wrap them, they do pop open a little bit. So they're the, the tiny little chrysanthemum petals. 
And then we'll take the second one and we'll just keep wrapping it around. And I'll do the same thing, tape down the beginning so I don't lose it. Keep going. Tape down that last end piece. And we've got our chrysanthemum. And you can play around with the petals, kind of spread them out, push on the openings so that the, the petals kind of spread out if you prefer an open petal look. But just kind of fluff it. And we've got a chrysanthemum, a pink chrysanthemum. So for the hyacinth, we'll actually use the same cutting technique, but instead of cutting the paper in half, we're just going to go straight and fold it in half because the hyacinths kind of have bigger petals. And instead of cutting diagonally down the paper, we're going to cut straight strips all the way down. And we're gonna try and make them a little bit thicker. And then this time when you fold up and over, you don't wanna smoosh the petals down. You want them nice and rounded. So we'll just fold over, leave those petals open, and I will take this closed. So this time when we wrap around our stem, instead of everything staying up at the top of the stem and the petals spreading out from the middle, we want to wrap at an angle. So we'll start up top, but wrap kind of like stripes on a candy cane all the way down. And the smaller your spirals are around the stem, the thicker your petals are going to be. So I think I'm going to try and wrap mine in small spirals. So I'll tape the beginning down just so I don't lose it. and start spiraling down. So every layer of petals falls a little bit lower than the one before. tape down at the bottom. And if you want your hyacinth petals to go the entire length of your stem, you can definitely cut a second piece of paper into petals and wind it all the way down. But I like having the end to grab and hold onto. You can stick it into vases. And that is how we make our hyacinth. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make just a few of Animal Crossing's many, many flowers. And I hope you guys enjoyed decorating your lives with them. For more information about other activities and other resources, you can call 210-207-2500 or visit mysapl.org.